we've been looking for ways to treat patients who have these resistant forms by adapting therapies to what we understand about the biology of head lice. And uh, one of the more interesting ideas has been the attempt to use suffocants. These are physical agents that will suffocate the head lice and essentially kill them off so that they, um, they die. And the two principal suffocants that we use to treat head lice include topical Cetaphil cleanser, uh, which is something that can be uh, obtained over the counter. And uh, the way that we tend to use that in kids who have head lice infestations is to have them apply it to dry hair, to then comb it out, and in the process comb out any live head lice that are there and then to blow dry it for several minutes until the hair dries, essentially causing the Cetaphil cleanser to encase the head lice in this um, material so that they will then, over several hours, suffocate. It needs to be left on for at least eight hours for that process to occur. The other alternative is a commercially available product that was recently approved by the FDA uh, that's known as Ulesphia, which is a benzyl alcohol lotion that is mixed with mineral oil. And it's a clever product in that it takes advantage of the ability of benzyl alcohol to stun the, uh, the uh, head louse so that the spiracles can't close and trap air. And that leaves them open so that the mineral oil component will then flow in and suffocate the head lice. Uh, it's been a fairly effective therapy in clinical trials and provides a fairly non-toxic approach to treating head lice. Um, both of these approaches have the advantage of having low toxicity and that's kind of what you want to look for when you're treating kids. Uh, when the kids have come in who have failed over-the-counter treatments, um, I want to give them something that will work quickly and easily because they're already quite frustrated with having to deal with this. Oftentimes they've had the head lice infestations for days to weeks. So you want to give them something quick and I tend to favor using the prescription product for which there's good evidence to suggest that um, it works well and there are uh, two applications, one to treat um, that particular night and then to repeat in a week to ten days. Um, I, th I find that it's an easier application than trying to blow dry and leave it on overnight and then wash it off in the morning. Um, but I think both methods actually are quite effective and uh, can be successful.